forgot about this dress. Okay, you know how we have Facebook Messenger chats? Well, have you ever looked at the history of the photos that we've shared, like memes and photos and all that stuff? Like, you can press on like a button and it shows you everything. Dang, I forgot about that. Did we get rid of this dress? I think we might have. Okay, some of these memes are hilarious. Oh yeah, when I had Snapchat. That was the season. Wow, look at these leggings. Look at, look at this. Yeah, they probably got a hole. Everything gets a hole. Every type of like cute leggings or pantyhose, they always get holes. Anyways, besides constantly messaging each other, the type of clothes that we're wearing or planning on wearing, and memes, all the memes, today I want to talk to you about winter shirts. Shirts that I'm wearing this winter. First up are the shirts in my closet. I have this closet space here and then I have some drawer space in my bedroom, but I'm not gonna like, let's just, so I brought them here, they're here, here, yeah. Anyways, first, this shirt you bought me from Korea, it arrived at my house at a very pivotal point in my life, so this shirt means a lot to me. It is monologue, made in Korea. I love it because it's airy and flowy and I don't know, I just feel like everyone needs an airy and flowy white shirt. It was perfect. I think it arrived right at springtime. So for me in Nova Scotia, perfect weather to have a shirt like this. It's getting a bit stained, but that's because I love it and I wear it a lot. So thank you. Second shirt, again, you get got for me. This shirt is an Ann Taylor, extra small. You bought it secondhand for me, it probably cost you a few bucks. The only thing about the shirt that was pretty disappointing was that when we washed it, you washed it I think first before I did, but I think when you washed it, um, the wear and tear that it already had, the button hook holder thing for the sleeve button kind of came apart. So I don't know, I might be able to fix it, but I still wear it anyways. I just don't button this one up. I don't know if that's like not classy, but I love it so much. I do. So thank you. Wearing it a lot. Next one is this item I got from Mod Cloth. It is called Timing. It's a small and I love it. I wore it a lot in the fall. The only thing about this shirt that has been really disappointing is that it's gotten really pilly really quickly. Like, I don't even think I washed it that much and it just pilled right up. So, I know Nicole has one of those like de-piller machine things, so I might try it on this, but I like it because of the style. So even if this doesn't have long-lasting wear, at least I know that this style I enjoy. It's different. I don't know. Yeah. This is a funny story. I don't know if you remember this, but I posted this picture of this shirt, like, this time last year, let's just say, and I was like, I don't know who got this for me. It arrived in my mailbox. Yada, yada, yada. Tell me if you bought this for me. Okay. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. I bought it. I bought this shirt. Uh, because I forgot I bought it. I probably bought it, I think, in December when I was Christmas shopping on Amazon and I saw that it was only nine bucks on Amazon and I'm pretty sure I showed it to Jeremy and then he was like, get it, it's nine bucks, who cares? So, because it was from an Asian country, it took months for it to arrive, so I completely forgot that I bought something like this. And then I was like, oh, I remember this, but I didn't buy it, but it's like, yes, I did buy it. So this also has pilled a lot since I started wearing it, um, but it's a cheap shirt and I enjoy just wearing it on the weekend. So I think for like a shirt from Asia that's made cheaply, yeah, I don't know if I'd ever get something that's, yeah, I think I'd go for quality more now, but still, I like the idea of it and I wear it. This is the last shirt in my hanging part of the closet, and this shirt is for, oh, from Winners. My mom brought it for me when we were shopping last winter, so I've had it for two winter seasons. And it's Kenneth Cole Reaction Small Plaid. 
plaid because everyone needs something plaid at winter time. So this is my plaid. I'd like another plaid, but for now I'll be happy with this this guy right here. Um, it's great for any time I just want to be relaxed and in something cozy. And it's drapey. Do you see that? Like it's drapey in the back. Okay, so now for the shirts that are in my drawers, uh, or drawer in there, anyways. This is from H&M. It is a black shirt. It is small. This is super tight. So I bought this because I wanted a typical black long sleeve tighter shirt um, that I could wear with jeans or a skirt and it still be considered pretty formal looking. Um, but could be casual as well. I don't mind that it's super tight, but the only thing is, and girl, I know we know what this is, bloating. I can't wear this certain times of the month because, you know, it just, sometimes my stomach just gotta hang out a bit more than usual. So, yeah, I just have to be choosy when I wear it. But I do love it. I think it, it sets a lot of tones for my outfits. Yeah. This shirt is Vince Camuto, ex extra small, which I didn't know it was an extra small. Um, I found this at Winners. I found this when I was shopping for your bachelorette and I, shoot on, I'm, yeah, no, yeah. Uh, I bought it because I like the feel of it and if you see it's pretty, it drapes in the back. So it's tight around the bust section but then it drapes right down and it's kind of like the best of both worlds. It feels like a maternity shirt but it doesn't really look like one so it has that comfortability of stylistic flowing in the back um, and being loose so I can wear this when I feel bloated and it don't matter. I love it. So far it's working great and I I think because of her long neck, the turtleneck thing is nice for me. I enjoy it when it works. Last item to talk about for winter shirts is this baby from H&M. It is the boat neck type style. I believe that's what we call this style. I bought this because stripes and stripes are the last thing that anyone with a short torso really wants. I have to say, I'm like the space between my shoulders and my hips are it's very, very small. Not like you. You have that nice long torso. Mm, love it. Point though is that I had to buy this because I just love the whole horizontal black and white stripes. And I think the way the shirt is styled, because it's supposed to be a bit of a shorter shirt and the way it's styled, it doesn't cut me off too bad. I think it truly depends on the pants I'm wearing and everything. So because I wear this with like higher waisted pants, I don't know, it works out in my opinion, I think. The only thing about this is you really have to wear a strapless bra and that, <sighs> when you're breastfeeding, is no fun because my, you know, they, they need some support. But either way, I enjoy this. Um, again, this it is it doesn't have a tag here, but it's from H and M. It's a small. I bought this to be tight, and it is. So there are certain times of the month that I just avoid wearing this, just because, you know. That's it for winter shirts. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not missing anything. Yep, not at all. Unless we're gonna talk about Jeremy's, but no. Uh, maybe one day. Wouldn't that be funny if I just started writing through his stuff and showing? That could be helpful, getting your opinion on what needs to go. But he's doing well. He's doing well. Um, that's it. Wow, that was short. Oh, I can't wait to keep sharing with you my closet. Do you like my weekend outfit? Yeah, we'll talk about this another day. Yeah. <laughs>